Our top story this hour, a senior Russian lawmaker says the United States is setting an impractical time frame for Syria to hand over its chemical weapons arsenal. Alexei Pushkov, who heads the Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, said the demand by the United States for Syria to bring its chemical stockpiles under international control in two or three weeks is, quote, simply unprofessional. He said there are over 40 storage facilities in Syria and some of them are in battle zones. The U.S. and Russia are gearing up for a third day of talks on Syria's chemical weapons in Geneva. The two sides have already agreed that a political solution is the only realistic way to stop the violence. This comes as the Syrian say opposition says it's now receiving lethal aid from the United States. U.S. President Barack Obama receives Kuwaiti Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmad Al Jaba Al Sabah at the Oval Office of the White House. Are in agreement that. Uh, Obama says he hopes that the ongoing talks in Geneva, which are being held to find a mechanism to put Syria's chemical weapons under international control, will be fruitful. Uh, I shared with uh, the Emir uh, my hope that the negotiations that are currently taking place uh, between Secretary of State Kerry and uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov uh, in Geneva bear fruit. Let me just say to but as the talks continue in Geneva, Remarks by members of the so-called Syrian National Council cast doubt on the sincerity of the claims made by U.S. officials. Khaled Saleh, who is the head of the SNC media office in Istanbul, revealed during an interview that foreign-backed insurgents have received lethal assistance from the United States. The weapons are set to include anti-tank and anti-aircraft missiles for targeting the Syrian military. Saleh added that the insurgents are also expecting more assistance in the coming weeks. His remarks are the first public indication that military equipment provided by the U.S. is reaching the insurgents fighting against the government of Syrian President Bashar Assad. Well, uh, this is something that the uh, U.S. media are uh, telling us now and the Western media more broadly, but the aid has been, uh, it's been channeled to the uh, Syrian, the so-called rebels in Syria by a number of nations, uh, including uh, Qatar, uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, the, uh, the United States, and uh, we have used the, uh, our uh, CIA and so forth. Some reports say the CIA has moved the weaponry to undisclosed locations in neighboring Jordan and Turkey in order to smuggle it into Syria. Political analysts believe the move is being taken to tip the balance of power in favor of the militants. Uh, the fact that this is uh, just coming to light now, uh, at least for uh, audiences here in the U.S., uh, is, uh, it, it suggests that uh, the, um, the propaganda war uh, that uh, is part of the global war on terror is uh, playing at the edges. The active presence of al-Qaeda offshoots in Syria has been discussed a lot recently. Extremist takfiri groups like the notorious al-Nusra Front the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, and several other outfits, are set to form the backbone of the insurgency against the Syrian government. And now, with the lethal weaponry provided by the U.S. in the hands of these groups, it remains to be seen whether Washington's call for a peaceful solution is really sincere.